Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video recreating the Hung Van Gogh Emily Ratajkowski's Summer Glow Makeup. So he has created a YouTube channel and I thought I would copy the video to see what the look comes out like following his tutorial. Now it's a 20 minute tutorial, but I will put it in the bottom corner so you can watch as I'm watching as I do my makeup, okay? Today's giveaway shall be this Dior eyeshadow palette. It's this Five Colors Glow Vibes palette from Dior. So to win that, you know the deal by now, just make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications turned on, and comment in the first day, and I'll pick someone to win. Okay, he starts out doing her makeup with a lot of skincare. He's got the products listed. He did skin prep with lotion, essence, lip balm, eye cream, moisturizer, and then moisture emulsion. So there's a lot going on there. I've already done my skincare this morning, so I put toner, essence, ow, I just done myself, serum, moisturizer, and eye cream already. So I'm just gonna move into the face. He just went straight into using the Kevin Aquan Stripped Nude Tint, which I actually received recently. So I'm gonna start trying it for the first time in this video. Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel darker foundation but this foundation is more like a tinted moisturizer she doesn't need much at all and i think it's great for summer okay so i've got a light and medium in this foundation i feel like i'm going to be somewhere in between because this one's definitely too light for my body but this one's probably too tan for my body so i'm just going to mix them fully cover in your face now do you feel like all the skin stuff you do helps the um foundation yes, go in yeah for sure so he's using a body sponge, which I don't have, but I have this really nice soft one from Colourpop. So I'm gonna do that, and he's just like working it in in the same way that I always seem to. But she has very even skin naturally, and this is a light like tint, so it might not come out as well on me. Let's hope that he goes in and with concealer, because I'm not gonna conceal my blemishes unless he does. He said he did her ears too, because you don't know if they're gonna be wearing their hair up or down. This is really nice, this uh, tinted moisturizer. Right? Okay, what's next? I don't want to overly cover in her face with full foundation or concealer. I still want the skin feel fresh and just want to enhance all the features. Now he's going in with the concealer that I actually have. It's the Kosas Concealer in... Well, I'm using 3.5. I don't know what she's using. Okay, so he's putting the Kosas concealer under her eyes and on blemishes, so that's good. That's also the reason why I think it's better to... He's then blending it in with his fingers at this point, but he does have a brush in his hand, so he might start to use the brush in a sec. So right now, I just basically just use the same foundation sponge and I just blend out the concealer. Her skin looks so pretty and glowy. I wish I had the exact skincare products that he used, but I don't have them, so. Right now I'm trying to warm you up a little and more just around the face a little bit. Just give more dimension on the face. Just okay, he's using a cream bronzer on her now. The one he's using is Trini London, which I do not have, but I'm gonna use my Solel Tan de Chanel. Gonna create a lot of dimension on the face, I think is, you know, that's the important part. He kind of used his fingers to put that on, so that's what I did. And then he seems to be using a light hand to blend that in. I wish that he did this before concealer because this is going to rub off my concealer a little bit in some areas. I might have to put it on later, but I won't be able to do that unless he does. Gosh, that's a good product. I have to try the Trini one as well. I'm just going to set a little bit under the eye and check the piece on. So he's just going in to set a little bit under the eye with the Veil powder from Hourglass. My God. Oh, my hourglass powder makes a noise when I'm opening and shutting it, and it actually just gave me whole body chills. Nails on a chalkboard. He's onto eyebrows now, and he was just using a spoolie to shape them up and out so he could see, I guess, what he was working with. Emily said she tweezed her eyebrows a little bit to a different shape than they normally are, but he said he likes them, so she's got a bit more of a pronounced arch. And then he's just shading them in really delicately with a fine pencil. He's using one by a brand called Kimoko, but I'm just using a Maybelline one. And her eyebrows go out like pretty far at the edge, so I'm just drawing that in. Oh my God, I love how that came out. He said he's going in with a clear eyebrow gel. This is just a Clarins eyebrow fix. 
So next what he did was he started lining her eyes as like a base for when he goes in with eyeshadow just so that, you know, he said because it's a summer makeup, if it starts to come off, this just helps it stay. And he used a Fenty pencil in a different shade. This is the only one I have that's similar. Blending that in a little bit. Probably already put too much on all because it looked really light what he was doing. So he used a Ritual de Fil de Fil um, product that I don't have, but this one looks quite similar. It's actually a little bit darker, so I'm using it with the same brush that he did to pat it on my eye and starting at the lash line so that it's more intense there and then blending it up and then taking it under as well and then blending it out so that was the crystal top coat from Natasha Denona in metal bronze and I like how it came out so it's actually like concentrated at the lash line so even though the eyeliner is technically covered you can't see it anymore it really helped to create that smoky effect because the eyeshadow adheres to it now he's adding like a crystal top coat type thing and this is the Rowan number 52 um, palette and I think this must be a similar texture because they're talking about this eyeshadow from Ritual Defeat and it seems to be like a, a cream hybrid, which is what these are. Now he's doing her lashes, so I'm going to curl my lashes and then use the Marc Jacob Mascara. This one's the Blacker at Lashed. I love Marc Jacobs mascaras. I love their Velvet Noir Mascara, but this new one is more lengthening and it's not volume mascara, so basically you still look natural. He's right. There is so much length with that mascara. I love it. The Velvet Noir is one of my favorites, so this one's gonna have to be added to my favorites as well. Okay, so on to blush, and I'm excited because I have the exact product that they use, and it's another product that I haven't tried yet. It's the Tower 28. It's called the Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm in Golden Hour. So it's a, like an orangey coral shade, and he's just using his fingers. I love that he's using so many cream products. This is the Cora Organics Rose Quartz Highlighter and he's just dabbing that onto the high points of her cheeks. Okay, he went back in with the blush after he did the highlighter. So I'm adding more of that Tower 28 over the top. And he said this just to melt everything together. So he really loves blush. Ooh, it's quite laborious putting blush on with your hands. I'm like, my fingers are pretty much seizing up at this point. I do like that effect actually going over it. It does help melt everything in. And I love that highlighter, the um, Cora Organics one. Can you see that texture? It's really quite soft cream. You can see the difference between these two textures. The blush is more of a gel and then this one's more creamy, like a sticky, kind of comes up like that. Really nice. So he's just patting some of Friday's lip balm all over her lips. So he did the lip balm first. I feel like I might have too much on there. Then he's going in with the KKW. I think it's one of the peach lipsticks. He doesn't specifically say, I don't think. Just says nude cream lipstick number four, but I can see it's definitely not nude. Actually, I guess it is this one because this is nude lipstick number four. I guess it's just because she's quite a lot more tan than me, but I'm going to do it anyway. Thought he said that there was a bit of peach to it. I guess there kind of is, but look how dark that is for me. This one is nice. It's a perfect color for people who have like a nice tan, you know? Like mm. it's a nude a hint of coral peach in So interestingly, he goes in with lip liner after he's done the lipstick. So I'm going to do that with the House Labs Myth Rip Lip Liner. So. Her lips definitely look quite pouty. The shade is a way lighter on her, but I don't think it looks bad. I guess as it wears off, it will look a bit better. And now he's using Lawless Golden Hour Bronzer, which I have. I don't think this looks as good on me as it does her. I think with the same bronzer, I just dab different area. So finish up, I like the skin a bit more luminous and natural. So I just go back again. That's it. After powdering, he says that, you know, he wants it to look dewy again. So he uses the Huda Beauty Cocoa Mist. I totally want to go and put concealer back on the blemishes that showed through again. But 
he did not do that in the video so i don't get to do that okay this is the coco mist that is really nice Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'm going to pose like Emily. <laughs> Cool, so that's done. I actually really like how the makeup came out. I think because my skin is a number of shades paler than her, it came out a little bit different. I think I could have achieved the same look if I just used lighter shades, but I wanted to use what he did you know in the video so that's what it came out like on me I really like how it looks you know I love cream products I do wish I had a bit more concealer on under my eyes and in certain areas but otherwise the skin looks great and I really like actually the lengthening of my eyebrows of course no lashes he didn't put lashes on and I think that's just a really wearable way to wear your glam so cool I thought it was really fun let me know if you want me to follow any other videos from big makeup artists here on YouTube because that was really cool to do and I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to enter to win that product and I'll see you next time. Mwah.